then maybe let's start with your introductions. And after your introductions, I will introduce myself because uh, oh, okay. I think, uh, yeah, maybe we, we don't need you know all the everybody for your introductions because you already know each other. Uh, so I, I I want you know to to, to meet you. Uh, some of you, uh, Danilo, I, I remember from from the uh, from a previous meeting, but yeah, uh, I I don't know who was else. I got a really really bad memory to faces and names, so great combination, definitely. Uh, so yeah, if you can introduce yourself and tell uh, tell me if you if you've been there uh, if you've been there last time or not, uh, I will appreciate that. Wants to start. That's tricky, always. Okay. Uh, first, from the left, uh, underneath uh, Jakob is uh, Maria. Uh, yeah. Uh, can you can you introduce yourself? Yeah. Hello. My name is Maria. I'm from Ukraine. I'm second year student. Uh, I'm studying new media arts in PJT. Uh, for my diploma project, I wanted to communicate uh, performing arts and uh, showcase the usage of the color with the music, how it's possible to um, to mix them and we create some new form of, uh, I don't know, analyzing the sound and color together while you're uh, watching. Color. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, and also explore the emotional uh, part of it. And for the theoretical part, I was thinking about research of a uh, female figure in video games. And that's basically uh, That's dope. That's really dope. Uh, yeah, okay, next one. Uh, next one, uh, Danilo. Do I pronounce it properly? Exactly. Yeah, we uh, know each other already, so. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so, I will just repeat, uh, my diploma project uh, is about synthetic media. In my practical part, I'm uh, making 3D uh, commercial for fashion brands. And in the theoretical part, I will write about how uh, synthetic media will influence on fashion industry and how it can be implemented into a business system. What uh, what does synthetic? What do you understand as a synthetic media? Uh, it means uh, not only artificial intelligence made uh, voice uh, bodies uh, like uh, it's it's also a music which we can produce with the help of computers, uh, yeah. like uh, also 3D models. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Yeah. Okay, that's yeah, sounds cool. Uh, yeah, it's, I just a few days ago I read that there is a label uh, for a computer generated music. So uh, uh, yeah, I was like, oh yeah, <laughs> I've heard, I've heard about it since uh, quite some time ago. I mean, computer generated music, but yeah, okay, okay, synthetic media. Uh, I understand. Okay. What kind of soft you use? Again, sorry. Uh, can you tell what kind of soft uh, have you used? So for the, uh, generated music, you mean? Yeah, artificial intelligence. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna introduce that to the, today. I'm gonna show you one of the programs that I know at least pretty well, uh, which is Max MSP. Uh, it's it's a paid program, but it's. Uh, uh, I think also Maria, you should you should check it out because it's a program that connects uh, mm, audio, creating audio with creating data, with create, uh, also using uh, videos. And you can also uh, communicate different uh, things through serial ports. So you can use Arduinos or Raspberry Pis if you want to. And uh, yeah, I got a project where I, I made it many, many years ago. I mean, I'm not that old, but uh, like uh, eight years ago, no, five, uh, 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 six years ago, yeah. And I created a uh, seven, sorry. And it was my very first project for electronic uh, music classes in my academy. And I created a piece uh, involving remotes 
I don't I, I don't know if I said and told that last time, but you know it was like a very complex thing that you when the percussionist was moving his forearms, it was changing the sounds in some way. And uh, it's, yeah, it's a very, very easy, it's not easy tool, but it's a very, very interesting tool. And for computer generated music, it's uh, it must have. If you know Altecre, I think we talked about them uh, last time. If you know Altecre, nowadays they play on with this software. Uh, and also another you know, great tool to create algorithm music, but you need a, a really good tutorial is Super Collider. Uh, Super Collider is beyond, but it's pure coding. Uh, Max MSP is much more, uh, it's visual uh, programming. It's like in uh, Unreal Engine or you know, any kind of mm, this, this, you know, connecting blocks of code. And, uh, Mm. So, so yeah, mm, I would recommend definitely Max MSP. And if you are looking for something uh, freeware, then Pure Data. It's really, uh, it's really popular, and also you can uh, use it on the Raspberry Pi because it's uh, for Linux, Mac OS, uh, Windows, and all the open sources uh, software. It's a like let's say cheaper version of Max MSP. <laughs> I like that. Uh, okay, one thing. Sorry, I need to close some stuff because it seems like my computer is going really uh, low on battery, and I forgot uh, my charger from my parents' place. Anyway, okay. Uh, okay. Anyone? Anything else to add from your side? <laughs> Okay, I think not. Uh, okay, uh, Anna, Anya, uh, introduce yourself to us. Um, hello, I'm Anna. I'm from Germany. I'm coming close to Stuttgart, and I'm studying in um, Germany communication design. So currently, I'm an exchange student, and um, like here, I'm more interested in animation, um, audio visualization, and then probably going to like stage design. And yeah, and also like in my free time, I like to just um, listen to music and like analyze it a bit or um, having, finding like two uh, songs that sound similar and then trying to make like a mashup, even though I have mostly no clue of technical stuff, but <laughs> yeah. I like um, the analytical way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> uh, have you been using any any software to create your own visualizations of uh, of music? Uh, basically, I'm just at the moment using Audition just to like make songs um, like slower or faster to like syncopate them. But um, I don't use the tools that way. There, like I'm starting now to try to filter out some frequencies because I want to um, like um, map them in like After Effects or something or um, cinema. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ah, okay, he's going. Yeah, so um, yeah, but I'm not really having like um, proper knowledge about technology or that much theory knowledge. It's, it's more like feelings or trying to yeah, vision, like listen to a sound. That's what we learned um, in our university in our second semester. We had to do an audio visualization, so I had to find parameters for different sounds and then make like a visualization out of it. I see. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Sounds cool. Uh, yeah. After Effects. Uh, I'm not a uh, visual artist, definitely, but I, I know how to you know use After Effects, and. Uh, yeah, it's uh, one of the uh, one of ways you know to to to, uh, to, to mangle the parameters definitely, uh, mm, but also actually uh, yeah we will talk about it. Uh, for example, I uh, once I when I was doing a, when my friend was doing a visualization for my opera, I basically you know uh, there was a moment which was really rhythmical. 
like extremely rhythmical and I was like, no, I'm not gonna, you know, like cut it, you know, do the de-editing like one frame by one. It's it's not possible because it was like, you know, bum, 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 bum. And like, you know, different pictures like that, you know? Yeah. And, and I was like, no, no, I'm not gonna you know, do, it, do it by myself. So what I did in Max MSP, I created a patch that was, uh, you know, uh, I, I was sending the MIDI data to Max MSP from Angleton Live, and it was, you know, like you know, playing those pictures that I selected or videos uh, in the, you know, in this rhythm that I gave it, and I recorded it. So in the end, I got, you know, this kind of, uh, this kind of animation, uh, which was, but with a perfect timing, you know, to the music. Uh, so yeah. Could you write down like um, those programs, or if you mention like um, I'm gonna yeah today I'm gonna show you all the, uh, the, these programs that I'm talking about. You know uh, I'm gonna you know say what kind of tools do I use and how you know we also can divide some programs. Uh, so yeah, it's gonna be very um, yeah I will show you uh, definitely all the all the stuff. Okay, next one because we need to you know to, to speed up. Uh, if uh, if you're okay, Anna, you know to, to go with uh, the next one. Okay, next one is uh, Ilya. Is do I pronounce it correctly? Yeah, hello. That's kind of right how to pronounce it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, introduce yourself. Yep. Um, I'm a second year student from uh, Piat. Uh, I'm from Kiev, Ukraine, but now living in Warsaw here. Mm -hmm. So. Well, I'm studying most of the stuff we all are studying, so communication design and lots of different things related to animation, 3D uh, and, and so on. But uh, apart from my academic interests, I'm a musician. Um, I've been, well, I, I play a couple of instruments, including guitars, keys, uh, drums. And basically I'm recording some music for myself on my own. Uh, I don't have any like huge studio setup, so dealing with just the very basic stuff. And I'm also interested in different audiovisual, let's say, arts or some like performances, installations where the sound is connected to the, to the image. And that's a topic of my diploma project, which I'll be working on. So yeah, that that's in short it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, we will definitely need. We definitely need to talk about maximity for all of you guys. You know? <laughs> all right. It's a must. I, I see now already. Okay. Is that is that everything? Do you or can we you know jump to another one? Yeah. Yes, we can go to another person. <laughs> okay. Uh, thank you. Uh, I'm, I'm, so, so again, you play. Uh, just one thing. You play guitar, uh, keys, but do you play like synthesizers? Do you program synthesizers or, or you know? No, music? no. Uh, I'm just like in the process of choosing the, the MIDI keyboard for myself because I think uh, I'm in need of it, but uh, I mostly was using the um, the more classic instruments, but I play piano, so... Okay. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, uh, okay. then let's go to the next one. Uh, the, I don't... Uh, uh, I don't... I mean, I see your nickname or Jonsa, how you... I don't know. Yes, hi. It's Apollinari, and uh, oh, yeah, okay. I'm a PhD uh, candidate, and I'm working, mm -hmm. uh, writing my uh, PhD now um, in digital humanities. Um, so I'm preparing to an PhD exam, let's say, and uh, it's a project, um, science project between Polish Academy of Science and uh, Polish uh, Japanese Academy. And yeah, my main interests are performing cars and digital media, artificial, and artificial intelligence also. Mm -hmm. So yeah, and I'm also uh, preparing for teaching. I see. I, I see. Uh, okay. I think I don't have questions for you, unfortunately. I'm <laughs> sorry. I mean, because everything is clear. Uh, yeah, if you if you want to maybe introduce you a, a little bit, you know, to uh, you mentioned artificial intelligence and in general performing arts, right? Uh, but it's a much more theoretical approach, or are you also practicing? You know, what's what's your uh, background? 
Understand. Yes, I graduated uh, theater st studies on theater academy, so it's um, quite theoretical. I don't use any tools because to analyze, for example, um, digital uh, performances, it's uh, quite uh, easier for me to write and analyze this. And also, but it's not only uh, all about analyzing uh, theater, it's also about analyzing, you know, um, the virtual space, uh, which are the performance are used, for example, I don't know, the post-media theories and something like that, the information society, you know. I get it. Okay, okay, okay. Um, okay, that sounds dark, especially that, you know, you get a theatrical background, let's say. Because, uh, I mean, the theatrical, you come from, from the theater uh, academy, uh, which is not that, that uh, often. Okay, uh, let's go to another one. Uh, thank you, thank you, Fernando. Uh, Eva, is that correct? Can you hear us? Yeah, hi. Yeah, yeah hi. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you, but we cannot see you. It's it's okay, uh, but I'm just, you know, informing uh, you. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm at home. I'm on the street, actually. Okay. I, I can show myself. Hi. Okay. Uh, it's, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. So introduce yourself. Just say a few, a few words and. So, I'm Yeva. I'm from Ukraine, and mm -hmm. temporarily I am in Ukraine. Uh, well, I am the second year's uh, student, and uh, for my diploma, I decided to choose uh, a sound art. Uh, as um, as my topic, and it's kind of connected with the performance uh, and with the sound. And like uh, I choose it because I am connected with the music as well. But I am not really uh, I, I don't really use like some uh, softwares to write a music or something right now. Mm -hmm. I'm just uh, gonna introduce myself to it, but. Um, well, I am a singer, so I, I I felt like it's my topic, so I decided to choose it. But I'm not really uh, know what I wanted to make by now, <laughs> like 100%. Okay, I get it. I get it. You know, when you when you are already a singer, you know, this with singing, it's quite, uh. Let's say at least popular to, to experiment with the with the voice, right? It's like quite popular. You know, yeah, yeah, and I, I, I really wanna I really wanna uh, connect my voice with uh, with this topic somehow, like in this uh, project. Uh huh. Yeah. You know, I just finished uh, working in Berlin with uh, Marta Gurnitska, a Polish director, mm -hmm. and she was, you know, doing the uh, big uh, big theatre play at, at Maxim Gorky Theatre, and the thing is that I was, you know, hired to record the voices and, you know, then eventually do some operations of the voices. Uh, eventually, um, it, it, it was something different than I, I was expecting, but, you know, in the end, uh, we were, I was experiment, experimenting with the voice a lot because usually on my music, you know, my, my art is without voice. So, mm -hmm. uh, uh, but usually, not like always, it's, it's, that's not the case, um, maybe often, you know. Uh, but uh, I, I get you, you know, experimenting with voice and transforming the voice is, is really, let's say, at least rewarding, let's say that. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, mm -hmm. go on, go on. Uh, I, I don't know, as I, as I tell you, like, I'm not sure what I want to make, but I, I'm i sure that I want to play with my voice in this yeah, topic, okay. so, so yeah. Uh, okay, uh, got it. Okay, let me check one thing uh, until uh, what time we got the class. Uh, okay, it's uh, 8.30. I think we should jump, you know, maybe uh, it is, uh, it's, uh, that's okay uh, with you, Eva, and all of you. Uh, that will uh, now. Uh, I have a question. 
Yeah. Actually, like uh, it, uh, for me, it's not really comfy to talk right now, and I see that it's uh, this lecture is recording, re recorded. So uh, if I could like watch it later. Yeah, definitely. Sure. sure. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, of of course, if you want to do this, uh, do it this way. Yeah, you're welcome. I, I don't mind. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that's great. Uh, okay. Thanks. Uh, Okay, so I will now introduce briefly myself, uh, very briefly. Uh, I don't know what uh, uh, what uh, Jakub told you. Uh, uh, um, yeah, well, some of you we know each other already. But quickly, uh, only uh, superlatives, just superlatives. Uh, what do you mean by superlatives? That's uh, you trust me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. So okay, so, I mean, I mean, I, I've uploaded. If you want uh, very detailed information about, about uh, Rafael's uh, uh, way uh, in the arts, it um, I use this bio by Culture Pell. Yeah, yeah. Which is which is uh, that that's Adam Mickiewicz Institute, I, I guess. So they are very accurate. So so th this is a very this is a very accurate. Um, you know, you know they accurate because uh, the guy who wrote this biogram of, of me, uh, he he asked me. So he was like, oh, so what should I write? I'm like this and this and this. <laughs> that, that's usually how it works. But it's but it's very accurate. And then you have re resources on Rafael's work and even even one one video, right? Uh, uh, so yeah, and and okay. So I'm disappearing again. Yeah, no, no, it's okay, it's okay. So maybe I'll, you know, I will just uh, uh, briefly, uh, instead of like, you know, oh, I was studying there and I was studying there, like boring bullshit. Uh, maybe I'll tell you something more about my practice and experience, um, because I think it's much more, also it's connected to what you do, guys. Uh, so, but first of all, uh, I'm Rafał Rytersky. I am a composer, sound artist, uh, uh, sound artist, sound designer, uh, multimedia artist, and uh, my main field of work in music is uh, electronic music and electroacoustic music. Electroacoustic means that I'm using both electronics and uh, acoustic instruments. Uh, and for example, you know some of my pieces, like uh, the, the 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 video one from Culture for L. I, I'm pretty sure it's Gender Fuck, uh, one of my pieces. Uh, also, you know, I mentioned that I, I did an opera. Uh, I got you know another performance on the music festival last year uh, of this opera. And so yeah, let's say that you know. I'm working in between, uh, you know, dance music and also, let's say, contemporary classical music. But uh, I'm I was always, you know, somewhere in between. My music is somewhere always like, you know, it's genre fuck basically. It's uh, genre bending uh, because I'm yeah I'm always like going from from my, one side to another. And also, you know, I don't mind, you know, having projects which are on the like of the on the extremes uh, of the spectrum of, you know, this classical contemporary music and you know popular music. Let's say I hope shit. Uh, I don't mind, you know, doing that. I'm just I think as an artist, the worst thing to do is to be closed into one general one box. Or uh, also, you know, the, my practice is basically about, you know. Uh, uh, trying to find out my place in this industry in industry because music industry is quite hard uh as yeah as most the uh, industry art artistic industries but you know uh i made my um i created my trademark uh and uh, uh i i stick to it but at the same time you know this trademark is very wide and open uh so, for example, uh, this month, I mean, you know, I'm composing music for uh, that was uh, for friends of mine, let's say, uh, music for relaxing and yeah, some exercise music, and because they are developing, let's say, a, um, uh, some kind of a room with surround system that you can sit down and you know relax, but it's like very 
uh, specific or like very uh, targeted way of relaxing and uh, practicing. I mean, uh, it's physical practicing. And it's, uh, they are going to you know, create, it's not a room, let's say it's a cabin. Yeah, it's a cabin that they will try to sell you know, to corporations. So, for example, this is one of the things that I do. Also, I was, you know, working uh, in Dream J a few years ago. I was making music for sleeping. Uh, that was a, that was crazy because, you know, we needed. To, I needed, you know, to learn a lot about psychoacoustics and also, you know, how we perceive some things, how we perceive some sounds, uh, in what way, and why we like some sounds and why why we don't like some sounds. Uh, but now I'm also working in you know, theatres, but uh, usually with then like more specific projects than than, than not. Uh, for example, you know, with the Smarta Gorniska, uh, it was like a very specific project, very because her her thing, her works are very specific. Uh, uh, and for example, you know, this year I'm gonna work. Uh, on a piece which will involve movement. Uh, it's, it will be for percussion, uh, but it will involve movement because the percussionist won't touch the the uh, the drums or the, the you know the, the instruments with the sticks, but rather through the movement uh, he will control little mechanisms mechanisms on the on the you know on the instruments. So it will like you know this indirect way of, uh, you know, of, of making music uh, or performing. Uh, so, yeah, it's, and also I'm doing electronic music, uh, you know, electronic dance music. It's not like, you know, this kind of EDM, no, no, no. My music is some, somewhere between footwork, IDM, uh, drill and bass, uh, breakcore sometimes, house, techno. It's like very strange uh, mixture, very, uh, yeah, the hardcore ish. <laughs> and also, I do noise music. So, yeah, I don't, uh, as you can see, uh, I'm all around, all over the places, but at the same time, I got this trademark that is so important. So, uh, mm, I think, you know, uh, as, I, as I mentioned, I think we, we should, uh, maybe I will change the one of the classes that I prepared for you for or maybe I, I, I will try to shift what I planned to what we could do because it seems like Max MSP is something or like you know inter interactive software is much more suitable for you than you know like boring uh, okay Ableton, Ableton life again you know all over again because you can learn Ableton Live uh, in from thousands of tutorials on YouTube and, and, and stuff. I can only show you know uh, how it's uh, uh, what what my approach to Ableton Live is. Uh, but yeah, I, I will just need you know to, to to think on what kind of software we, we're gonna work because it would be awesome you know to. To, to introduce you to this Max MSP and you know as I as I mentioned you know this interactive software uh, programming. Mm, so yeah, about this brief introduction, uh, I think I'm gonna also show you some examples of my works or you know in this uh, different uh, uh, different uh, softwares. So let's hit it. Let me check how to. If you just share the screen, probably. Can you see my screen? I don't know. Not yet. Oh, okay, let me check how to do that. Uh, where is the... How to share this? There should be a button, like some rectangle with the arrow on the right upper corner. And if you go there, there is a menu with different screens and windows you have. So you have to choose one of them if you're using yeah. multiple. It's like on the uh, right side, uh, uh, right yeah. to the right. Well, maybe it's because I'm working on the screens. I don't know. Now I'm blah, I hate uh, 
uh, teams. Uh... I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. Uh, again. And then, then it will pop out some 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 windows. So uh, use the ecran because other. Okay. Uh, Give me a second. Sorry for Polish. Mr. Kubani, mogę tego znaleźć. W sensie mam obok, 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 opuść. Mam opcję udostępnić zawartość. Masz tam tą słuchawkę taką czerwoną, nie? Zakończ. Tak, opuść, tak. Obok jest ta udostępnij zawartość opcja. No właśnie, udostępnij zawartość. I wtedy klikasz w to i po, powinny ci się pojawić takie dwie rzeczy. Jedno jest okno, a drugie jest ekran. I, i wchodzisz... A właśnie, w ekran. właśnie to jest problem, bo mi się nie wyświetla. <laughs> to takie czasem się nie wyświetla i wtedy już nie ma żadnego rozwiązania. Hmm. E, możemy zrobić tak, że na przykład wyślesz mi mailem coś, je, jeżeli to jest plik, prezentacja i ja to nie, udostępnię. Nie, to właśnie to nie jest ani plik, ani prezentacja, chcę po prostu pokazać mi sesję w Ableton. Tak, no, tak myślałem, kurde. To słuchaj, o, rozłącz się i jeszcze raz włącz. Okej, okay, uh, guys, let me just, you know, uh, log out and log in again. Or, or I, will, I will call you, maybe. Okay. I'm not sure. This is, this is strange something. Can you hear me? Okay, yeah. now again, this same thing happening. Okay, maybe I will restart the uh, uh, Microsoft Teams if you. Yeah. Maria became dark. You can talk or have a quick smoke now. No, okay, and? Let me check. Uh... Oh, now it works, yeah. Mm. It's always restarting. Yeah. Uh, okay. okay, now you see uh, my desktop probably. Now yeah. you see the Ableton Live. Uh, okay, so probably some of you know that the software uh, is very uh, how to say that? It's very, yeah, it's the most popular software uh, in the world at the moment. Uh, you can still see it, right? What's the name again? Yeah, we can. Live. Uh, oh, can you write it down? <laughs> yeah, but wait a second. Why it's, uh, yeah, uh, let me write in the chat. Uh, and you probably have like a large screen because for me it's like everything very small. Uh, yeah, yeah, I get it. Maybe I will do this on my uh, laptop. So, uh, why it's here we go. Okay, and let's go here. Um, Oh my gosh, working on two screens. Uh, yeah, I love it. No, I hate it. Anyway, uh, give me a sec. So maybe first I will write down the name of the software, Ableton Live. Uh, that's the first thing. Uh, second thing, let me... Uh, here we go, this one. Can you see it now? Yes, yes, we can. Talk. Okay, perfect. 
So, uh, Angleton Life is a uh, uh, very, uh, yeah, one of the most popular uh, software to compose music, to, 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 to edit sound, you know, also to, to add the video. It's, it's like the very, the, yeah, one of, at the moment, the most popular software. And it's very popular because it's like very easy, you know, to, to work with. Uh, I can show you, like, you know, Daniwa, you, you already know it, right? Uh, I presented the last time. Uh, you know, Ableton has uh, a very, how to say, um, uh, it's not that hard to create some sounds in Ableton. It's not that hard, you know, to, uh, to, to start making your music in Ableton. Uh, because it's it just needs some some things. Now it seems like it's uh, stuck, but yeah, now it it works. So this is how it looks like when it's the, the new session when you create a new session. And let's say yeah, let's go to the second view. You can change the views here. I'm gonna dig deeper into the program later. I mean that's at the third meeting. Now I'm just you know showing it. What can you do? It's just you know a very brief, uh, very brief int introduction, and, and what kind of the so what maybe let's start with what kind of software is that? What can you do in Ableton Live? So Ableton Live is so-called DAW software. DAW means uh, Digital Audio Workstation. Uh, I'm gonna write it down here, uh, which stands for Digital. Um, digital audio workstation. And uh, there are plenty of the EW softwares, uh, like uh, like Ableton, then Logic Pro for Mac, uh, Mac OS 6, uh, Cubase, an old one, uh, also a very popular one with, because it's easy to borrow, let's say, uh, FL Studio. FL Studio is like a very, also FL Studio is kind of easy to start with. Uh, mm, uh, there is also Pro Tools, which is really advanced and it's like very, uh, actually I hate Pro Tools. I don't use it at all. I'm like, yeah, burn it. Uh, <laughs> we don't need it. I, I, I don't need it as a composer. And it's also much more info Mm, for for sound technicians, sound designers, sound uh, directors, than you know for composers. Um, but you know, I'm gonna write it down now. Most of all, uh, the software that you probably will get in touch with is definitely, as I um, as I mentioned, Ableton Live. Then also Cubase, probably uh, Logic Pro X or 10, which I really highly recommend. It's also really easy you know, to create some songs. It's, it's very, very easy to work with. Uh, but then you can, how to say, extend what you can do in it until you know it's a very professional tool. Uh, so you can start like with a small steps and then go you know, to, to, to a bigger, yeah, to, to bigger projects and even you know to, to very professional projects. I yeah, I seen there are plenty of you know uh, videos on YouTube of of uh, really big producers you know creating music and uh, uh, creating songs, pop songs like I, last time I saw Demi Lovato you know uh, her, her producer was making uh, sorry I'm uh, sorry not sorry. And I was like, oh, so I know this plugins. Yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah, the Logic Pro X, uh, eventually Pro Tools, uh, Pro Tools, uh, very professional. Uh, and which one also? Ah, FL Studio. Let's add FL Studio. I'm um, uh, sorry. I have a quick question. Is yeah. uh, maybe Persona Studio One on this list as well, or what do yeah, you think of, of it? Studio One, yeah, you're right, you're right. Okay. Uh, uh, a newer one. Yeah, it's a, it's, I added also a newer one because, you know, uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's kind of new on the market. Yeah. And so what is important is also that, you know, it's, uh, 
Uh, not that many people use it, but I've heard amazing things about it. Mm, I've heard also if we are uh, that, you know, that's let's say picky or like, you know, going to really, you know, this kind of uh, software. There is also a very, uh, oh my God, I, now I forgot the name. Okay, maybe not this one, but you need to know Reaper, uh, which is a, a free one. Uh, Reaper, re, uh, re, Reaper is shit. Why am Reaper is a free one? And uh, I closed Reaper because our the, be, before our meeting, but I got it opened and it was uh, yeah. I I I don't like it because I'm you know I'm used to to work with uh, Angleton and Logic Pro. But it's also a possibility. If you know, if you've heard about Don Kirojanek, who is one of my closest friends, and she's, uh, for example, uh, she made a soundtrack to the movie uh, uh, Prime Time, the one that was, you know, has premiered on Netflix a few weeks ago. And uh, she's using Reaper, and she, she made the entire you know, soundtrack on the Reaper on a free software. So it doesn't, also, in the end, you know, all those softwares, it doesn't matter if you're using Ableton Live, Cubase, Logic Pro, Pro Tools, FL Studio, New One, Reaper, whatever. What matters is how well you know this software. And then I think it also depends on if you really want to like make the final track or have it then like sent to somebody and then like actually played it. Exactly, exactly, Anna. Anna. Uh, it's for example, you know, in Ableton, it's really easy to create tracks. I cannot say that it's really good, you know, to mix music on it. Uh, mixing is like you no know, uh, kind of post-production process. Uh, so yeah, you're completely right. Also, you know, in Pro Tools, it's really hard to compose, but it's extremely you know, uh, efficient in uh, in uh, create uh, in, in mixing and mastering. Uh, so so yeah, um, it really depends on what is your workflow and what you want to achieve. In, uh, in Ableton, as you can see here, it's, it's really like, you know, it's extremely easy to create, uh, create songs, let's say, analog, uh, bass, let's say this, uh, let's add some, uh, uh, maybe a pad, like this, I like this this one. And you can hear everything, right? What I, I was, uh, all the sounds? Yes. Okay, so yeah, for example, and also let's find a, a loop uh, here. Uh, maybe it's not a loop, but let's, let's use this one. <laughs> It's not a loop, but it's just, you know, a hard, it's hard kick. And, you know, bam, 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 bam. I copied it four times, so it's bam, 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 bam. And yeah, you know, we already got some uh, something. Now I turn on recording on it. I turned on also on my keyboard, uh, regular keyboard, the computer keyboard. I pressed M, and now I can play, you know, this, uh, uh, yeah, I can play it on my keyboard, the computer keyboard. Okay, I need to turn on the mic, the mic metronome, sorry. <laughs> Uh, like random shit. If you, I, if I will add snare sound uh, to it, snare, uh, all results. I like this one. Oh shit, this one was good. Yeah, this one. Uh, um. Yeah, we need to copy it <laughs> to make a loop. Uh, but yeah. 
already some some kind of very basic fuck uh, funny beat you know it's, I made it in three minutes and you know so this kind of workflow workflow is really easy you know to, to create very fast you know to pitch ideas let's say or you know change create you know transform ideas into music but also you know I, I compose most of my stuff nowadays in, uh, in Angleton I'm gonna show you like you know a gigantic project uh, that I'm, I was working on, you know, uh, for my forthcoming album, uh, and it will take a while because it's I don't know like 70 tracks uh, of of different sounds. Uh, so yeah, Ableton is very easy, you know, to 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 work with. To, to and also there is plenty of tutorials how to how to record some sounds, uh, how to put some sounds. Uh, how to use data MIDI, how to use audio, and uh, it's it's very uh, it's very easy to work with. When it comes, for example, to FL Studio, it's kind of different approach, but it's also easy, and it's really easy, you know, also to to compose some stuff in FL Studio. When it comes to uh, as I mentioned, Pro Tools, it's really hard, you know, to to uh, work with ideas that quickly. That's why it's not recommended, you know, to, to, to work with it as a composer. Uh, so this is one type of software, let's say. Uh, all that I was talking about so far. Uh, so DW, right? This digital audio workstations, uh, which, uh, which are Ableton Lite, Cubase, Logic Pro, Pro Tools, Apple Studio, Studio One, Reaper, whatever. If you want, by the way, Reaper, uh, I cannot turn it on because my battery is going really low now. Uh, but maybe, okay, I see that there are some, some problems here. Let's open the samples. And uh, let's find all the samples. This is some technical bullshit now. Uh, okay, fuck it. Anyway, uh, this is a project uh, of my track. Where's my mouse here? It's it's really gigantic, uh, as you can see, and uh, um, yeah, basically it's a full full track. If I will you know, go into details, I can you can see you know drum racks, which is drums. Uh, then you can you know see uh, synthesizers. Samples. It's very easy you know to. Uh, it's very easy to, to move around in the software and uh, as I said it's really easy to compose but for now let's close uh, live uh, because this is as I mentioned this is one type of the software that uh, uh, we can we music artists uh, can use now let me uh, go back to the video and the, the other you know type of software that you all, you are already familiar with is uh, audio editing software like Audition, like uh, Audacity, and also Isotope uh, RX. Uh, however, Isotope RX is kind of different, definitely kind of different than, than, than the uh, aforementioned two. Uh, because in RX Isotope, you uh, rather you, you work, I can show you how it looks like RX Isotope. It's very, uh, uh, very detailed uh, repair, let's say, uh, of, audio, of audio. Um, let me find a sample. Uh, 
ta, 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 ta. Uh, maybe here. Uh, maybe not. Give me a second. Um, now, where I need something, when I need something, I cannot find it. Perfect. Uh, oh yeah. So I'm gonna show you how it looks like. Mm, here and here. So now you can see the um, the isotope R Rx, which can remind you a little bit of uh, audition or audacity, right? Because you got the, the wave uh, here in the center, and you got you know um, yeah play buttons, record buttons, and you can also you know like select some some part of uh, of audio file, and then you know cut it or copy it and paste it, you know. Mm, uh, but in general, this this R R X software is, for example, like uh, to to if, to use uh, noise uh, to use to change some like when you we, when we got reverb, we can remove reverb out of it. Also, you can do this the very same things in Audition and uh, Audacity. In Audacity, it's called uh, uh, noise reduction. Here is called here is uh, spectral the noise. Uh, so yeah, you choose a fragment of audio which is very noisy, and then you 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 learn the algorithm you know to remove the the, the noise from the entire file. So it's another uh, kind of software that uh, we you know, especially sound uh, engineers, sound technicians, sound uh, uh, directors are using, and sound designers because it's. Uh, uh, you, you don't need, you know, to go into Ableton into DW software to do all those operations. But also, you know, some of these operations are really uh, for this kind of software. Uh, so yeah, mm, but you know this because, as you you mentioned, you were using the uh, the audition right um, software. And the last type of software. Uh, that I think you know, it's as I mentioned, it's, it's going to be the most uh, interesting one for you. Is definitely the interactive language uh, softwares. Let me close uh, things first. No. Uh, here's everything okay. So let me show you Maximus B. Uh, I just need you know, to to move it to the. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, you probably can hear like a very low uh, low sound. This is like custom made instrument. Uh, it's basically like you know a randomizer of sine waves and soul waves. Um. Uh, and it's also, you know, adding like random, uh, random uh, automation to it. Uh, so, yeah. Uh. And the thing is that, you know, we can, uh, I can control it. I can, you know, add. Off for now. Uh, I can, you know, add in the software any kind of, you know, mm, uh, uh, graphical in our uh, in user interface object, you know, like you know, another dial or something or slider, this kind of, you know, fader something. And I, you know, I can control any parameter uh, of of this little software uh, by it. Let me show you, for example, because this is a very complex one. And it's already made. But let me show you. Uh, uh, here. Uh, let me create something for you. Um, cycle. Uh, hop. Mm -hmm. So now you should here. 
nothing, but if you... Yeah, you, can, you should hear, you know, this really dull sound, sine wave that I'm controlling the frequency of with this little object, right, with those numbers. And so, uh, you know, we can also go, uh, instead of, you know, those numbers, we can create a, a slider, I mean, a, a phaser. Sorry, Anna again? Should we see something? Are you sh uh, Oh, shit! Something? Yeah, sorry, sorry. I, I didn't, yeah, thank you. Uh, I didn't turn on the, sorry, I'm so sorry for that. Uh, okay, then I need you know, to show you again uh, what I was doing, uh, but that's okay. Um, a Rallys module. Here it is. Here is this custom made instrument uh, that I made for uh, quite some time ago. Mm. But why I cannot hear anything? That's a good question. I know why. Because. Uh, give me a sec. Oh shit, that's. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> So yeah, it's very uh, random instrument. Uh, so when I press this button, it randomizes all the parameters of this. I mean, this, this, and uh, each one of of those oscillators. Because under underneath there are like small small instruments which create or small synthesizers which create very simple uh, waves but when we combine those waves it creates this kind of you know wicked harmonies why you can't hear this one So uh, this is, you know, this uh, already made instrument. But if I want, you know, to create a, uh, my own instrument, uh, mm, let me show you how to. So uh, this is how it's how the you know programming looks like. So we create objects, right? And. Uh, uh, we create sound sources like uh, oscillators, which are those aforementioned uh, uh, little synthesizers. Uh, this is like a, the, the simplest uh, oscillator, the simplest synthesizer that you can create. You know, so you add yeah sine wave and then also a a little number that and we control all of these objects. Uh, or maybe instead of this one, I will do this, so you can. And now we got our synthesizer. Uh, if we want to, we can add, for example, a, a user interface object like slider, which is, you know, this kind of thing, uh, but it will create uh, for us, you know, numbers from zero to 127. But yeah, we can change it very simply. Uh, range uh, ten thousands, and now we got numbers. We need to lower it down. So yeah, this is like a you know, it's it's how it looks dull and kind of silly and and stupid, and uh, but uh, you know with those little objects we can create the the whole you know interactive setups, and Max MSP is fortunately it's very uh, how to say uh, it's very easy to. Uh, to learn it. I mean, you know, it's kind of hard, 
but at the same time there are there are plenty of tutorials the the uh, here in the in the software in the uh, uh, lessons let's say uh, you, you got you know visual lessons how to make things you got also uh, extras um, examples no what was where was that let's go to reference uh, maybe here you got this big you know documentation of max msp and we can go for example for tutorials right and here you can go one by one you know one lesson by one by lesson is like you know how to create uh, 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 semi-auto-generative uh, things like procedural drawing. Yeah, let's open this tutorial and see what we got here. Uh, I don't know what is that, but yeah, what is that? Oh, it draws a line. Okay, that's it? No, it draws a funny line. I don't know what it's, what it's doing, but it's you know procedural, let's say. Uh, or eventually, oh, oh, this this is a funny example. So you know with the with the mouse, you know, let's say it's eyes, and you know it follows follows eyes. So uh, why I'm showing it to you? That's a question. And how? Why is that? You know that brief because. Uh, I want to show you, you know, what kind of tools you can uh, use and uh, uh, what kind of use uh, tools can you can learn. Mm, because I think you know uh, that mm, uh, you, as a group of multimedia artists uh, or people who who want you know to to work with multimedia, uh, you need to you know to to know the the tools that we musicians can uh, use uh, because uh, it's kind of when you when you know the system you know how it's how it's uh, systematized I don't know the, the English word anyway uh, uh, what is that uh, yeah, oh, okay. <laughs> no what is possible like uh, even like for uh, pr production uh, uh, like product designer, if you know like how um, physics is working, then you can first design something that's, that will actually work in physics because when it's something ridiculous, you can't um, transfer with um, tools. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. And also, you know, I was thinking about the forthcoming classes, you know, to, to go through uh, Wait a second, I need to check uh, what can I turn off because my battery is like, yeah, it's going to die soon. I hope it's not. Uh, anyway, uh, uh, I think we'll survive. Uh, yeah, you're completely right. You know, it's uh, it's one thing that you it would be, you know, lovely for you to know uh, what kind of software do we do we musicians use, but also uh, that some softwares you can learn by yourself, and also you know uh, because you know in just three classes, one and a half of an hour, uh, so it's like four and a half of an hour classes. We we cannot you know learn uh, a lot of things, but I can show you how to you know to to uh, to eventually learn by yourself, and you know how to um, and also introduce you a little bit to this. So today is like you know introduction. Uh, to these topics and uh, and just you know to, to to show you how it's clear uh, to, to show its uh, clarity of you know of division of kind of software uh, so that was you know, that is my aim today uh, and also you know um, uh, I guess you know uh, my plan was to uh, Wait a second, my family is like, uh, oh my god, why they are they calling me like crazy? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, uh, um, you know, my plan was for the forthcoming uh, classes, uh, but it's up to you. Also, it's a part of, you know, my uh, uh, my plan for today. 
my my plan for the forthcoming classes was to for the next class to to work a little bit with recordings, uh, your self-made recordings. Uh, but it seems like every, most of you, you know, knows uh, uh, most of you knows how to. Yeah, most of you know how to, uh, to, 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 do, to to prepare the recordings. So I think that's not, you know, that's not necessary. Uh, so, uh, and you know, on the, the last class, uh, yeah, yeah, Anna, go on. Uh, for, for me, it uh, might be not that clear. I don't know. Um, yeah, I just like get thrown into stuff, but also I don't know for the others, the others. I know about it, but I don't think that I know. Okay. So I'm too glad. Okay, so maybe let's do it in the other way. Uh, something that uh, Danny, Danny, you, you, you uh, I don't know if, uh, I don't know if Maria, have you been? I don't know if you've been on this class that we got in December by uh, Ilya. Never mind. Anyway, what I s suggested last time when I got this, you know, singular class. Uh, I suggested that maybe for the next class, you uh, you know the people would record some samples, some some things, and then you know uh, then uh, we could you know everybody of you would download the Ableton Live. Uh, it's it's not free, but it, you can you know use the demo version, or eventually if it's you know it's uh, running out of time, you can I think you can. Still open projects, but not safe. Uh, or you know, it's it's yeah. Uh, so my suggestion su suggestion for the next class is you know to, to work with uh, in, let's work creatively. Uh, also in terms of uh, of recording audio. And for the last class, I was you know I was thinking about you know maybe composing uh, uh, some some things. But now it seems like we could, uh, yeah, spend the next class on uh, uh, using your recordings that you would prepare in between classes. Uh, uh, using these recordings, you know, in a creative way, like you no, know, making like a s ambient tracks of yours. Uh, I think it would be extreme fun for you, you know, to create, you know, um, especially that you know some of you. You already got your instruments, and uh, we got a singer, we got a guitarist, uh, key player, drum, uh, drum player. Uh, and then you, you also you also are familiar, right, with Ableton and stuff, as far as I remember. So yeah, uh, and for the rest of you, you know, for the for the people who didn't work with you know with uh, this kind of software, uh, will you know you, you can just. We will just, you know, use your recordings uh, for to create, you know. Uh, an, I, I, I can, you know, show you, present how I do that, and then you can eventually, you know, do it, do it after class uh, at home by yourself. Uh, so I think that would be a good plan for the next class. Uh, sorry, Anna. Yeah, it sounds good. I said. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, and I think the last class. Uh, I would I I will need you know to to just you know to, as I as I mentioned change the plan a little bit because the last class would be you know about I, I could show you Max MSP software much in much deeper you know uh, perspective what can you do in it and you know how you can create uh, generative things uh, and eventually like you know how can you uh, use uh, external hardware to 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 work with uh, with Max MSP, mm, and yeah, basically I can prepare something. Actually, right now I I don't know if I can. Uh, yeah, you, you, oh, here is a microcomputer. It's Lata Panda, and I'm using it, you know, to to create my as little program. That will change my MIDI settings on my hardware synthesizers, and you know it's oh, it has a lot of cables connected to it, so it's already like you know. And the thing is that you know I made this uh, little uh, program in Max MSP, and uh, yeah, I can you know I can put it on a microcomputer, and I can use it you know like a like a external device in the future, and that's my plan. 
So I think you know that would be awesome to to do this this way for the for the last class. You know, to um, how do you feel about that? Is that okay? is that uh, sounds good? Sounds cool? Yep, sounds good. Okay, so uh, uh, let me tell uh, first also another step. Let me uh, know if you get any questions so far regarding the, you know, this uh, quick introduction into magic of sound and music. Anyone? Okay. Can you write down the name of a program, Maximus, right? Because Maxim yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, but Max 8 and uh, it, like, the company is cy cycling. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, this is yeah, exactly. Uh, we call it Max MSP because uh, yeah, sorry, it's it, the right name is uh, Max Eight now nowadays. Uh, but it was in the in the past it was called Max MSP and the version. You know? So so yeah, that's that's the right name. Uh, let me f uh, yeah, I will also pa paste uh, the uh, copy paste the link to it. Uh, give me a sec. Um, I can see it's it's free for thirty days, so it's yeah exactly it's yeah exactly it's free for thirty days, so you can eventually download it and and if uh, you will go past the uh, past the thirty days, you can still use it, but you the only thing is that you cannot uh, save anything in it. So that's the problem. Uh, oh, thank you. I, I just wanted to paste it. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, uh, so yeah, this is uh, this is software and also uh, audio. Let me write down audio editing software. Uh, so it's uh, blah, 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 blah. let me write it down. Audition, uh, Audacity, uh, and uh, Isotope. Rx. Uh, does it work? Ba, 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 ba. Yeah, now it works. Yeah, now it will look cool. So yeah, <laughs> uh, here you got here you got the, the names. Uh, also, if you want to look for maybe you're like you know, uh, like as geeky as me. Uh, and you want, you know, to look uh, further into you know, generative things and programming uh, stuff, then uh, also maybe let me do it this way. Mm, audio, video, uh, programming software. Uh, Max MS, uh, Max 8, known as Max MSP. Second one is Super Collider and Pure Data. Yeah. So, uh, as I mentioned, the last one, Pure Data, is the software that is, I can show you actually, because I got Pure Data. Uh, PD, PD. It looks very, very similar to, to Max MSP. And the thing is that uh, actually it's, uh, the Max MSP is a paid version uh, of Pure Data. I mean, at some point in the company decided, okay, let's let's quit. You know, uh, let's quit this company that is doing Pure Data. Let's develop it, and they created you know Max MSP. Uh, so it looks like this. Uh, really, really similar, you know, to to Max MSP. Uh, the only thing is that it is, it's kind of harder uh, to get into, and there, there are not like you know very good tutorials to it. There are still some tutorials, and uh, uh, there are amazing people who are working in Pure Data uh, till today. For example, I don't know if you know this guy. Uh, let me just turn off the screen sharing. Uh, Krzysztof Cybulski, he is working in uh, Pan Generator, uh, this collective, uh, which is, you know, creating amazing stuff, uh, 
with, uh, mm, uh, with I don't know, like mm, uh, one of the projects was, uh, and I think it's in the Philharmonie in Szczecin, the like those you know spiral stairs, and they put a a, a pipe let's say around those stairs, and uh, there were sensors all over around you know the, this this pipe, and you could you know put a ball at the top of those stairs, and you know when the ball was going down it was you know turning on the sounds, and uh, as also I think that you could record some samples at the top of the of the of the stairs. And then when you were, you know, you could play this, you know, those sounds uh, with this uh, with this spiral. Uh, and uh, yeah, they're doing amazing projects. And Krzysztof uh, Cebulski is one of uh, one of the people who's you know working uh, in this collective, and he's using uh, usually pure data. Uh, I, I admire that because I don't have patience to to use pure data, and but you know. And the, the very important thing about pure data is that it's multi-platform. So when it comes, you know, to Max uh, MSP Max 8, uh, you can put it on a Windows machine or a Mac OS X uh, machine. But when it comes to Linux uh, or any kind of, you know, Linux-based uh, um, uh, operational system, it's not going to work. However, if you if you are using pure data, then you can you know use it on any kind of machine. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's why you know if you are really eager to learn something and you got some some time, then go for the uh, definitely go for the pure data as well. Uh, but Max MSP uh, or Max 8 is, I think, it's much easier to get into, and to, uh, it's it has some, you know, uh, it has some already made tools to to work with. You know, for example, uh, there are some tools, you know, to, to control the. You can, you know, use the mouse. Of course, it's a very, very basic thing. But you can, you know, you know, use mouse to control some stuff. Uh, like, you know, X, Y position of your mouse is gonna, you know, control like I don't know, a sound and filter. Uh, I mean, the volume and the filter, or maybe the pitch. It it depends, you know, what you want. Uh, but uh, and pure data doesn't have this kind of tools. So it's e easier to, to people who d do not know that much about, you know, uh, electronic uh, music creating, uh, creating electronic music or electronic digital audio, you know, it's, I think, maximally is much, much more easier. Uh, so, okay. Mm, uh, any other questions? Sorry for this uh, extra explanation. Any other questions? No. Not for the moment, I guess. OK, so uh, so let's go to the last part of today's uh, class. Uh, and it's going to be a practical one. Uh, so if we if you want, you know, to, to, to meet next time and to, to make some ambient music together, it would be nice, you know, to have some recordings of yours. And uh, please tell me how many of you uh, got, I don't know, microphone, a good microphone, uh, maybe a recorder. Mm, how many of you? Right, maybe, the, right, okay. Uh, you can also write down your name in the, in the chat. It would be easier, I think, because some people turned off their video. I have a question uh, for yeah? recordings. Um, Basically, we could also use, like, for example, then Reaper and like create something out of this because it's an also a recording. Or do you mean like real life recording? Uh, no, I'm thinking about you know you recording in real life, uh, like you know going to the street and record you know something that's re really interesting for you. Like you know you uh, mm, yeah, it's it's a very creative task to to ask you. So that's why I'm first. I need you know to know who got some recorders, uh, microphones, whatever, and you know how to record. 
If not, then of course we got another solution and it's, it's going to be also a part of our next workshop or our next class. So besides Ilya, anyone else? No. Okay. But I so, have yeah. one, one question. It might be, well, you say we can record some noises in the street, for example, but I thought you were talking about the musical instruments. So we can record yeah. whatever we want, or yeah, yeah. Let me let me go to uh, yeah. yeah that, okay. That's uh, that's the second thing. So uh, because we are aiming you know, to do some ambient, which is really easy to make because you know you can put samples, filter the shit out of it, and then put on a reverb, and you know then you can put small small things on delay, and it's already like you know you're creating some music already, and. So uh, if you if you the you know the goal is that you can record whatever you want. You can record, uh, but think about ambient music. Think about something that lasts, that has you know a longer duration, or has you know interesting, let's say, texture. Uh, interesting. I don't know. For example, I really love the sound of uh, of. Uh, Key clicks, which is like you know when I when I do this, right? Uh, it's like <laughs> yeah. like costly. <laughs> yeah, exa exactly. If you want, you know, to record, like you know, uh, but think also uh, about it uh, as a music, like you know, when you got this pen, uh, like clicking pen is like. So maybe uh, think maybe let's uh, do do a recording of this, you know, a very a very like uh, like. In this tempo, but also think maybe about like a very slow motion because it's ambient, right? We are doing ambient music. Uh, and uh, also, if you want to, if you want to record instruments, go for it, go for it, definitely. If you want to record your voice, go for it. It's it, it's even better. Uh, if you want, you know, to have an uh, ASMR session with yourself and your, you know, a recording device. Go for it. Let's experiment, right? Then you, you know, on the next class, uh, if you want to prepare any, if you want to prepare anything, then we will use, you know, what we what we will have, and we will try, you know, to uh, to to do whatever we can. Uh, so, and the last thing that we need, recording devices. And that's also a part of our next class because you will record with these, which are your phones. Because phones, for example, iPhones got pretty good microphones. I mean, for this kind of shit. Anyway, you will. I will show you. I don't know if you know that already. How to remove some noise uh, in Audition or Audacity or RX. Uh, I will show you, you know, how to remove the noise and how to prepare this, you know, this really shitty sounds to something that will be, uh, will have a good quality. Um, so yeah, so you, but you, first you need to record anything and just think creatively. What kind of sounds you would like, you know, to transform? What kind of sounds you would like to have, like a sauté, like without any transformations? Just you know, I love the sound of, you know. Uh, banging the doors of the oven into you know into the oven, uh, and, and I want it raw, like you know I want to I want it to to be like in, like this. So so be creative about it, and then you know uh, next class we'll try to make an ambient music out of it. Sounds good. <laughs> okay, and then yeah. We'll so it's good, uh, well, it's fair enough to record on iPhone, for example. Yeah, of course, of course. As I said, iPhones actually get really good uh, microphones, and uh, uh, if, yeah, if you just get iPhone, go for it, really. And then, uh, and then, what, what, uh, the MP3 or or something like this, or what, what file uh, you should have? You can send me the files on WhatsApp. Uh, I will write down my number now. Uh, plus forty-eight. Uh, if you would, you know, prefer the sounds like at the day of the class, but uh, a little bit before the class, so I can, you know, go into WhatsApp, download all this, on the all, all the sounds, or you can eventually, you know, prefer the sound that you will send me. Yeah, I mean, I will also send you my email address. 
uh, you can send me the files via, via WeTransfer or by email if you get MP3s. We can okay. work with MP3s, whatever, you know, it's the, okay. the matter is uh, the, the sounds. Uh, also, you know, how to record some sounds. So, uh, and it's like a very last tips for today's class. So, for example, if I am recording my voice, mm -hmm. uh, uh, I never, I never do this kind of recording. Why? Because when I am recording my voice, uh, basically our um, our language, especially Polish, but if you want, you know, to speak Ukrainian, uh, a lot of you are Ukrainians, right? So, you know, all, all the languages got some special uh, consonants and vowels. And um, the killer ones are P, uh, oh. you can hear it now, P, P, T, D. All the like, you know, ex let's say explosives. Mm -hmm. And that's why we don't record like this. And that's why, you know, also in our big you know, studios, you got pop filters. Mm -hmm. Pop filters stop all those like, duh, 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 right? So it doesn't, you know, it doesn't make the recording bad. Uh, so if you want to record your voice, you should record it like, rather like this. So it's, you know, underneath your mouth. So the sound goes here, not here, right? It, like you know, straight to the microphone. Okay. Uh, another thing, if you are going to record, you know, in an open environment, in, in nature, uh, a really important thing is about the wind. So the wind do the same as, you know, if you are breathing to a, uh, if you are breathing to, you know, to, the, to, to, to your head onto your telephone, or someone else is breathing, you can hear like, <sighs> right? And the thing is that uh, we don't want that. And the very same uh, same situation is happens with the uh, the wind. So what we can do, we can you know eventually cover cover the uh, the microphone around with our hand, or if you got some, you can eventually you know. That would be the best situation to maybe even uh, use, uh, you know, some material uh, on it, you know, on the microphone. Like so a sax? Sorry, like what? Like sax? Yeah, you can actually, yeah, actually sax. Uh, uh, for example, you know, uh, I got it here. When we are recording, I, I'm pretty sure you've seen this. Uh, I got a recorder, Zoom, uh, Zoom H6, I don't remember exactly, I got it somewhere. Yeah, here it is. Uh, so, uh, here is a recorder, a very basic one, right, with, you can see the microphones. Mm -hmm. But what is happening when I'm recording voice, I put this. It's a, like, you know, looks like this, I put here. And now I can record, it looks like a uh, reporter's microphones, right? Uh, but if there is a wind, we use the cat. <laughs> and the cat looks like this. Okay. This is the cat, and it's uh, basically a uh, wind stopper. And when you put, yeah, we call this uh, a cat. Mm, so it looks like this. Uh, and you know it, it would be awesome for you, you know to to record with a with a cat on the wind stopper but probably not so just keep in mind that it would be the best you know for you to not record with the with the wind uh with, uh, in a windy situation but if you have some wind also try to experiment maybe uh, maybe you know my sweater would be perfect for the wind i don't know maybe uh, a sock actually a, a real sock would be perfect for for wind maybe a glove uh, you know, recordings are usually a matter of experimenting, really, trust me, you know, uh, you cannot even imagine how they record pianos, it's wild. Uh, so, so yeah, think about, you know, uh, it would be also very good, you know, when you are recording some things, uh, then you can, you know, really briefly, really quickly, like, you know, check what you're listening to. And if you get, you know, a um, pair of good headphones, go for the headphones. And so you can, you know, uh, listen to the, to the material on the headphones. So, yeah, that's the task for you. Is that OK that I'm, you know, giving you homework? Yeah. Yeah. OK, so next class we are doing ambient music. Any questions regarding this? Can, can I join? Yeah, of course, if you want to. Yeah, sure. <laughs>
Uh, and one extra thing, uh, maybe record three or uh, two, three different qualities of sounds. Okay. So if we will have some overlapping sounds, like you know, uh, four of you will make uh, like you know pebbles, uh, you know, hitting the pebbles on the uh, on the shore of Viswa. I don't know. Maybe you will have an idea like that. Then uh, you will you will we will like okay, we will use just this recording and this, and not the the, the rest. Uh, but then you will have, still have some material that we can use, uh, you know, and uh, every, 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 everybody will be equal, let's say. Okay, any questions? No? Yes? Um, one quick one. Should yeah. we make some any you know, like preparations of the sounds or we just should deliver the recording in live, for example? Or I, no preparation. Yeah, that's okay. no, no preparations. We'll also prepare the recordings, you know, uh, by ourselves. I will show you know how to how to equalize it, remove the, the noise spectrally, and uh, make some fades. Uh, I don't know. We will we will just you know uh, really quickly prepare it to to, to work with it in the, in a music uh, manner. Okay. Okay. Great. Okay. Uh, was the uh, I hope that the class wasn't confusing. <laughs> <laughs> with oh, all, no, the, no. all the knowledge and all the you know no. specific software and uh, you know everything is everything clear and uh, or do you have any questions? Okay, I think we are completely done for today. Thank you very much. That was great, uh, especially right navigating through the possibilities, which is which is important because. Right, it's it, it's not obvious, right? Well, 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 if, even if you know what to do, the the, the know-how is is completely not obvious. So thank you very much, and we'll write. We're gonna prepare the recordings, and and just reminding that next week is a national holiday, right? All right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so we we will meet in two weeks' time. Mm hmm. Uh, I think with me it will be. Let me check. It's. Uh, I know I didn't. I didn't write it down yet. I don't know why. So but anyway, yeah, probably ninth, ninth, right? I think ninth. Uh, yeah. I just have to check it out. So yeah, you got, you got plenty of time to record some things. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, uh, guys. And see you in two weeks. Yes. Thank you. Okay, bye. Thank you get any contacts. Much. If you get any questions, hit me with an email. So, yeah. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. bye.